In this video, I'm gonna go over five things that I wish I knew when I started cybersecurity. Now, I started my career eight years ago in the United States Army as a 25 Bravo, which is a information technologist specialist, and I actually had a bachelor's degree when I joined in Geographic Information Systems, or GIS. In the last eight years, I've acquired a lot of knowledge, and I hope that by watching this video, you can gain some insight and content and maybe not make the same mistakes that I did. Smash that like button and let's get into it. The number one lesson is that IT and cybersecurity is all about problem solving. You just need to solve problems and if you can solve problems then your life will be very easy and everybody will love you and there won't be any issues. And this comes down to the growth mindset versus the fixed mindset. So the growth mindset says if you see a problem then you can conquer it and you can defeat the problem. Fixed mindset doesn't have I can learn this attitude but more of I defeated I'm not smart enough attitude. So in tech a growth mindset of I can figure out these problems and solve them will be extremely valuable. And also, if you can demonstrate in an interview that you can solve problems and get things done and that you can learn things on your own, then this is very valuable to an employer. Even though it's not specifically said in the job description, if you have an interview, I would definitely make problem solving one of your key selling points. Like, I can solve problems and help you out. And that should be your main goal. Go in there and you're like, I can solve all of your problems. Because managers want on someone who can help them solve problems and not become a problem. There's lots of problems. Next lesson is it's not any harder to learn in demand skills as it is skills that aren't in demand or are on the decline. For instance, right now, if you're looking into going into system administration, I would say don't do that. Instead, learn cloud administration because it's not any harder to learn cloud and the job opportunity for cloud is way higher than it would be for system administration. And that's the same with cybersecurity. So I could spend a lot of time learning more networking and going deep into networking, or I could spend my time learning cybersecurity and going really deep into cybersecurity, which will pay me higher dividends in terms of salary and opportunity of growth because it's such high in demand and there's low competition. So when you start to evaluate skills in terms of the return of investment, then a whole new world will start to open up and it will help you better direct what you should learn and what you should stay away from. I spent way too much time just on the wrong things and learning just outdated skills and it was just a huge waste of time and I could use that time to learn better skills that would have been directly applicable to me like getting a new job that was like a 50% pay increase. That's right, I said 50%. The third lesson that I really wish I knew when starting a cybersecurity career was to learn a project and not to read the book. Reading the book is a huge waste of your time and you, you're not going to be able to grasp the concepts of tech just by reading a book, especially if you have no experience with it. For instance, if you want to learn Wireshark, then I would do a Wireshark project and learn how to read a PCAP. Whereas if you just read about what Wireshark was, what TCP IP handshake was, you're not really going to understand it until you do the project. And speaking of Wireshark, I do have a guided project below by Coursera for Wireshark and it's about two hours and it will literally guide you through Wireshark and exactly what it is if you're curious. So I strongly suggest doing projects. For instance, when I was going through army training, we didn't really read the book. I don't even think we were given books. Maybe we were, but nobody read the books. We just did projects and we did lectures, of course, and did quizzes, and we actually did a lot of the work in labs and projects, which was really useful. So we went through everything. I think it was in five months, I was completely trained to be an IT specialist. But I didn't do most of my learning until I got on the job. That's why you you should spend as little time as possible reading out of a book or watching lectures and the most amount of time doing projects and breaking things and getting your hands dirty because that's where you're going to be able to conceptualize everything and it all comes together and you can use those talking points in interviews and they'll know that you're not trying to BS them. Do not try to BS through a technical interview because everybody will know. The next lesson that I really wish I had learned was to learn marketing and sales and you may be curious what does marketing 
in sales have to do with cybersecurity or getting a job. And that's because everything you do in life, you're gonna have to sell someone or market something to someone, even if you don't realize it, whether that be your boss, your husband, your children, you're really just selling. So if you can learn how to communicate your ideas properly and learn persuasive arguments and learn how to deal with people in a sense, especially difficult people, then you will be at a great advantage. And this is a place where a lot of techs aren't good at. So if you're just naturally good at talking to people and massaging and just like creating harmony in an environment and you get some technical skills on that, you will be undefeatable, unconquerable. And also sales skills are really important when it comes to say getting a job. You're basically selling an employer on why they should hire you. Why are you better than the other hundred candidates or why are you better than someone with five years of experience? You can make an argument about why you are better but not based on experience. Learning sales and marketing would be really good in the workplace and when you're trying to get a job. The next and final lesson that is really important is everybody is just trying to figure it out as they go and not anyone really knows what they're doing. This is a huge thing so you may be like well you have eight years of IT experience. It may be kind of intimidating or some people have 20 years of experience but even then they still don't know what they're doing so nobody really knows what they're doing. Technology changes so fast and you have to keep up with so many trends that someone with three years of experience may actually be more knowledgeable on the most updated practices because that person with 20 years of experience hasn't been updating themselves with patches on current technology. So it's also called imposter syndrome where you just never have enough information and you always feel like you're not adequate because you're not at mastery but you'll never achieve mastery because it's too much. You're never going to know everything and so I would say don't be intimidated and everyone's just trying to figure it out as it goes and just because you have one year of experience doesn't make you less important as someone with 20 years of experience because they bring a different mindset and they have a fresh perspective that maybe the 20 year person doesn't have. So your lack of experience and skill is actually also a great strength because you can see and look at things in a different way. Although that's a little bit off of my main point, let's just skip that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, I have more videos up here somewhere if you want to check those out about cybersecurity and getting a job in cybersecurity and upskilling. And also I have courses linked below to help you kind of see if cybersecurity is for you. 